Hello world folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. Regarding Prince Harry's decision to cooperate with Netflix on his upcoming documentary, despite the uproar over the Crown's portrayal of his family, Lady Colin Campbell gave her opinion. Lady Colin Campbell and Phil Dampier were guests on Tuesday's episode of Dan Wooten's Tonight Show, where they discussed the current royal series and the impending season of The Crown. The panel reviewed Prince William's request that Princess Diana's interview with Martin Bashir be removed from the drama that will air on Netflix. As everyone is aware, Lady Colin Campbell is a well-known television host and YouTuber. This month will see the premiere of the eagerly awaited fifth season of the fictional drama series, which will primarily emphasize the dissolution of Princess Diana and King Charles's marriage and its consequences. The infamous 1995 interview between the late Princess of Wales and Martin Bashir will be depicted in two episodes this season. Prince William said in a statement that the interview should never be broadcast again, after it was discovered through an inquiry that Bashir had obtained the conversation with Diana through fraud and trickery. The heir to the kingdom reportedly begged show executives to omit his mother's shocking panorama interview, but they reportedly disregarded his requests. Dan Wooten emphasized that his brother, Prince Harry, is continuing to work with the organization for his upcoming documentary. Despite the fact that many people think the prince won't be thrilled Netflix is rejecting his demands, Dan stated he couldn't comprehend the hypocrisy of working with Netflix, despite them going against his brother's desires, and asked Lady C what river and what permanent organizations to treat his family cruelly, as well as the British people as a whole. He's a complete hypocrite. He simply just can't help himself. It's just all about the money and being a celebrity, she said. Following the announcement that Harry's documentary with his wife, Meghan Markle, will premiere on the streaming service in 2019, Lady C made her remarks. Phil Dampier shared his perspective on the matter with the GB News host. Saying it is difficult to disregard Diana's interview because it was a turning point. It was crucial, he said, since the Queen soon after ordered that she and Charles obtain a divorce, which they did the following year. I just don't see how they can ignore that. So, for once, I think the Crown has the right to go ahead with it. But obviously, it's going to be upsetting for William, and I can see that. The Robert breakup and Charles' relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles will be on the main topics of the fifth series, which will premiere in November 9th. William's preferences aren't the only ones being disregarded lately. There was controversy around the show, and many viewers canceled their memberships after executives turned down pleas to include a disclaimer. The Crown is a fictional show that has been dramatized for entertainment, despite the fact it depicts significant real-life events within the royal history. There have been suggestions for a disclaimer to be included before the shows because many viewers fear fans may interpret it as historical fact. Not just viewers of the show are calling for Netflix to include a message. Actress Judy Dench said that the inaccurate image of the royal family is harmful to the monarchy. The venerable star referred to the upcoming fifth season as cruelly unjust in an open letter that was published by the Times. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you agree with Lady C? Should Prince reconsider his words about the family? What should Harry do? Write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Roll updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.